and like my butt is starting to look really awesome. Hi guys, welcome back. It is me, Drew, and today is a really, really exciting day. So today, well, technically yesterday, but we're saying today, well, because we're, we're talking today, but it was yesterday, was the two-year, like, marking of my highest weight anniversary. So, if you don't know anything about me, um, I'm Drew. I have lost a lot of weight, 237 pounds to be exact, and two years ago yesterday, I weighed in at my highest, and it le leveled out around 415 pounds. Yes, this used to be... 415 pounds and now it's only 178 so there was like a whole extra drew and some and then some in this body so um the video today i don't really have much i guess like to make but i wanted to make a video commemorating this moment because like this is a crazy moment for me because i remember when i weighed in over you know 400 uh pounds and thinking to myself um oh my god like this is impossible i need to lose 265 pounds like that's gonna take forever and you know it it does take about two years now i will say that i did lose 179 of it in one year's time i didn't really even get super serious on my weight loss journey until March 30th of 2015. So it's not like I was like hustling that whole time, but the process to change did begin two years ago. And, um, you know, some of you know kind of the backstory of um, I had a miscarriage at the end of June of 2015, which kind of led me on a little bit of a spiral uh, to realizing that my health needed to get into control, and that's when I started even looking into weight loss surgery, but I, you know, there's a lot more to my story. If you want to find that out, go ahead and watch my other videos, but I kind of just wanted to make this video today because I want to tell you guys like just how awesome it is to be able to sit here two years later and tell you that you know I did this and you know it's not to brag at all like honestly like I am so like overwhelmed and feel so blessed to even be here and to be able to even say this but I made this because the reality of there are so many people who are still struggling with their weight I'm still struggling with my weight I'm not done yet I still need to lose you know at least another 28 pounds before ideally I would like to lose another 28 pounds before you know I get skin removal and all of that but for me you know the reality is to feel so much closer to like have a weight loss goal of less than 30 pounds is like ridiculous to me when I start out at 265 pound weight loss goal and I seriously I honestly like I sat today and I was like what did you do like I honestly had the moment of like what on how did this happen and it's it's beautiful and it's exciting and it's crazy because honestly like I'm telling you like when you you're in the 400 club you really don't think you're ever gonna get to this point point. and I tell you what like I had this realization today where I had taken this picture um, of myself I was laying in bed and um, I realized you know I really like my face and I know that sounds like a weird thing to say kind of a stupid thing probably to say but um, if you have been with me on this journey for a while you know that when I announced that I was having weight loss surgery that one of my biggest concerns was actually that I was gonna end up with a weird face because you know I've always known myself as a heavier woman and I mean I still kind of consider myself heavy I mean in comparison to, I guess to like fit people but I am a lot smaller and I do struggle with body dysmorphia so please you know I understand like 178 pounds isn't actually like a heavy person but like because of my body dysmorphia I still look at myself a lot of times as a heavier woman which is that's a whole different kind of conversation that we don't even have today but for me you know I looked at myself and I was like wow you know you're really beautiful and it was like this moment because I was so nervous that I was going to have like this face that was kind of like disproportion disproportionate to my body and like weird cheeks and all that. And I mean, I still have, like I said, like around 28 pounds to go before like, well ideally I'd like to lose 28 pounds before skin removal. But the fact that like I am here today, it's just really exciting and to feel like I'm finally coming into my own and like almost like this is like the body and the look that I was always supposed to have and I see myself getting kind of a shape and like my butt is starting to look really awesome because of the Stairmaster and like it it's really exciting and so I I'm gonna actually make a video in like two three more days because that's actually like the 10 month anniversary for having my weight loss surgery um, which also I should also mention that I did lose 
121 pounds before having surgery and that's a whole different thing and like I said please watch other videos where I talk about all this kind of stuff but I wanted to make this video just to kind of celebrate this moment and the realization of losing 236 pounds in two years time um, that's incredible and that's exciting and we have to celebrate those things and I have to tell you guys like you guys always tell me about your weight loss successes and you starting your journeys and going on your journeys and how you're motivated and it keeps me motivated and it keeps me excited to keep going and I just absolutely love you guys and I tell you what like two years ago I hadn't even started my YouTube channel yet and it's like a thing where I was just kind of getting into makeup at that point and I was just starting to like take better care of myself physically and all that and so I remember like in that moment just kind of like feeling like ugh. Is this it? You know what I mean? Like, is this all I'm gonna be? And to be here two years later and to be this, and I promise you, I never thought that this was in there. I never thought that this was available to me. And so, to even like still have more to go, it's exciting and awesome. And like I said, I, I don't really have a point to this, but I just wanna make this video to tell you like, I know that like two years like seems like a long time, but two years feels like it just whipped by me and a lot's happened, but at the same time, I feel like I blinked in it and I'm here and so I remember I remember two years ago around this time and I was like I remember like when I was even trying to figure out this weight loss thing and thinking to myself like man how's this gonna work like how are you really gonna lose 265 pounds like nobody actually does that unless they're on like you know one of those like TV shows where they they like chase you around for five months to lose weight I'm like nobody actually does that it's not possible it's not gonna happen and I remember just like I said this before, like thinking to myself, like I just hope I one day can just wake up and be smaller. And so to two years later to wake up and be smaller, it's like the most amazing thing. And so as I've said before, you wanna know where to begin. Just start by making one simple change. Just do one thing. Just, just cut out 100 calories or just start going to the gym one day a week. Do one thing and make it a lifestyle change. Make it something that seems like you can't live without it and it's a part of your life forever. And then add something else. And just keep adding on those little things until one day you're gonna be two years later. You're gonna wake up and you're gonna feel amazing. And you're gonna be so happy that you started making those changes because one day you will wake up and you will be in that different body and that different change. Just keep going, don't worry, it's, it's there. I promise you, I am living proof. The person who never ever, ever thought this was possible and I used to see other people succeed and I would be so mad and I would be so jealous and I'd be like, I don't even wanna look at them because like, they look amazing and I'm never gonna have that. And I said, I'm always gonna be fat. I'm meant to be a fat, person like that's what I said I'm meant to be bigger I'm meant to be obese I'm big boned it that's what I am and I tell you what those were all just lies I told myself to enable myself to keep staying where I was I am supposed to be this this is who I am and you're supposed to be whoever it is that you believe you're supposed to be and please know that whatever size body you have you're amazing you're beautiful you are worth love, you have value, because as you do also know when I started this journey, it started from a place of learning to love myself at the size I was at, all the way down to the size I am now. The love didn't come today. The love started at 415 pounds. And I think, you know what? That is the biggest thing I wanna to say to you today. Wherever you're starting, if it's at 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700 pounds, you are worthy of love today. You better start loving yourself right now because love is not gonna come to you at 178 pounds. Love's not gonna show up at 150 pounds. Love's not gonna show up once you lose 200 pounds. Love begins now because once you realize that you're awesome and amazing and that body you're in today and once you realize that like that person is the bomb and that they deserve to be treated with respect and dignity like every other person on the planet and that you can slay them eyebrows and get your makeup done and do your hair right today. And then when you get down to 178 pounds, you're gonna have it all together already. And you're just gonna be like, yeah, girl, I love you, but I loved you then too, because you were awesome, okay? So, 
that is all I have for you guys today. But if you want to see more photos of me, like transformation photos, you can check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, and on Twitter at Just Like Drew, spelled the same way it is down below. If you want to be a part of the Just Like Drew crew and you're not already, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below and join our forever family because we are literally the best crew around because anybody and everybody can be in our crew. I love you guys so stinking much. And if you like this video and you want to see more from me, you know what to do. Just Like Drew, have an amazing day, have an amazing week, have an amazing life. And I did want to mention, we're getting really close to 2,000 subscribers, so I'm trying to figure out some really awesome stuff to do to celebrate once we hit 2,000. But I just want to say thank you. This is amazing. I, like, honestly, like, way more than I ever expected. You guys are awesome, and I can't wait to see how we grow more and more. And you know what? You got this. All right. So, if you like this video and you want to see more from me, you know what to do. Just like Drew, have an amazing day, have an amazing week, have an amazing life, and I'll talk to you so stinking soon, like probably in a few days. All right, love you. Bye. 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 Going through this as well, so they know this is not just like some easy thing. Um, so I, if you don't know, I considered like weight loss surgery. So when I first started the consideration, it was actually at the end of.